Hey, how's it going? Well, I was looking up the word androphile, which essentially means someone who likes masculine men with dicks, right? And there are a number of people who get offended at that term because they say it's, it's promoting homophobia. It's someone who uses that word has internalized homophobia. Because apparently, unless you connect with, fully connect with gay culture and, and embrace all of your femininity, then, then you're, you have internalized homophobia. And it's just, I get so sick of that. Um, there's this article on, what is it, Dazed Digital. I can leave a link to it in the description. That basically makes those sorts of arguments. So if, if you use that term, it's internalized homophobia. And uh, it's showing that that you you hate people who are who are feminine. I don't hate people who are feminine. I don't hate gay culture. I just don't feel I fit into it very well. Um, it, what's what's really strange to me? I mean, there can be all these names for body types that people like, and that's not a problem. You can you can you know there's twinks, twunks, bears, cubs, otters, and then there's there's uh, 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 chubbies, uh, 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 people who, and chasers, people who like uh, heavy guys, right? Um, got all these different terms, and those are okay. But the moment you say that you like someone that's masculine, up, oh, up, oh, it's it's your it's homophobic. Oh, cis heteronormativity, really, really? You're promoting cis heteronormativity because I have a preference. That reminds me of some of the shit that some of the uh, uh, some of these the trans activists are saying. Oh well, unless you like a guy with a vagina, you're transphobic. Excuse me. Don't, don't fuck you. Fuck you for being homophobic. If you're gonna tell me that I'm transphobic because I don't like a guy with a vagina, you're essentially pushing homophobia. You're telling me that I should change my sexual orientation. That shit pisses me off. It does. It pisses me off to no end. You know, <laughs> you know, because not only we're we're not supposed to have any preferences for the way that someone acts and talks and carries themselves. Now we're not supposed to even have preferences for bodies because that's transphobic. <sighs> anyway, so <sighs> how long is this now? All right, um. I mean, I can't even count how many times I've been to a gay establishment and I hear someone in the background saying, well, I don't trust gay men that aren't at least slightly feminine. What are they trying to hide? Well, some of us aren't trying to hide anything. Some of us just, that's what we like to go for. Oh, that's cis heteronormativity. Fuck you. Fuck you. If there's anything that, 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 that does piss me off, if there's any attitude that I do hate, it's that. Yes, I hate that kind of attitude. The gay community is supposed to be so open and inviting and, 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 and inclusive, but that, nope, nope, not inclusive there. Pisses me off. I think it's lame. And one of the things about this article, near the end of it, they, they had to say at the, oh, well, there's other words that we've, uh, we've taken back before, so we should take back androphile and expand it. So it doesn't have that meaning anymore. So it's no longer cis heteronormativity. God, I hate that term. I hate that term. Fucking hate it. Because the moment it's said, you, you know exactly what the person is saying. They're saying that you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't look up to masculinity. No, no, it's a, the new version of, the new version of masculinity. Hi, I'm masculine. <laughs> Oh God! Well, uh, um. Yes, I'm so manly. My straight friends tell me so. Yeah, right. Um, it just. <laughs> I I I don't know what to say, man. I I I guess I'm I've fucked up the video, and I should probably start over again. So pajama bottom.